Now, we're slowing down the Postal Service. I've never heard of that before. We are actually slowing down the Postal Service. But we will do any and everything that we have to to be able to cast our vote. We have to. We have to vote for them, for these little ones. We have to vote for them. We have to vote for you, for me, for us, for we. We have to vote for we. So let me provide some follow-up information to my last election post titled, Do It, Vote 2020. That post promotes mail-in in your absentee ballot. If you haven't viewed it and would like some information on voting absentee, whether you mail it in or take it in, take a few minutes to view it. Now, if you have any anxiety or fear of your ballot not reaching the elections office in time, bypass the mail. Just bypass the mail. As a quick review of the in-person absentee voting, you will go to the appropriate elections office in South Carolina between October 5th and November 2nd. Complete your absentee application and vote right there on the spot. Go to the scvotes.gov and look up the election board office for your county to find the contact information. If you've already completed and submitted your absentee application, the ballot will be mailed to you probably between October 5th and the 15th. If it gets to you later in that cycle and you have concerns about it reaching the elections office by election day, using the postal service, bypass the mail by submitting your ballot in person at one of the board of election sites. I have focused on your county, but the procedure is the same for any county in South Carolina. For your county, there will be an additional site in Rock Hill at the new City of Rock Hill Operations Center located at 757 South Anderson Road, Rock Hill. The main elections office in York, located at 6 Congress Street Government Center, Suite 1201, has a drop box for you to deposit your ballot anytime, 24-7. The drop box has access on the outside of the building and drops your ballot on the inside of the building. Let me show you where it is because it is a new building. So I'm at the light at Main Street in Congress. I'm taking the left on Congress. And this big brand new building on the right is the government center. You can turn this first right, but I'm gonna go to the light, which is the second right, into the on Jefferson Street. Make it a right. And making this next right to the back of the center. And here's the drop box. Right there. There's a drop box. Let's see if I can zoom in on it. Okay, so that's the drop box. It goes directly into the building. We have nothing against our beloved Postal Service because it has served us extremely well for nearly 250 years. And I've never known it to slow down on purpose. So until we can provide the support to the Postal Service that it needs, and for this election, maybe we just have to bypass the mail because we will do whatever we have to do to be sure that we can cast our vote.